Hello, so in today's class we will look at what do we mean by the center of curvature and the circle of curvature. Now uh, we have seen how to find the uh, curvature at a point and how to obtain the uh, radius of curvature at a point. Now uh, you consider a curve uh, the form y equal to f of x and let p be a point on it. Now can draw the uh, tangent to the curve at the point P then uh, corresponding to the tangent you will have uh, normal. Now uh, by center of curvature you mean uh, that is a point which is at a distance rho from the point P along the normal. From P le normal varakya. Now um, rho nu varayinadha the radius of curvature aana. So now uh, from P along the normal a point which is at a distance uh, rho is called as the center of curvature. So center of curvature at any point P of a curve is a point which lies on the positive direction of the normal at P and is at a distance rho uh, from it. So that point is called as the center of curvature and uh, once you are given a function y equal to f of x and a point p so you are, if you are given a curve y equal to f of x and a point p uh, which is having coordinates of a p the coordinates are x y and then uh, the formula for uh, center of curvature is so that will be so center of curvature So we usually represent it by capital XY where capital X is given by X minus uh, Y1 into 1 plus Y1 square by Y2 where uh, Y1 is dy by dx and Y2 is d square Y by dx square. So capital Y, the Y coordinate of center of curvature is Y plus uh, 1 plus Y1 square by Y2 and uh, now once you have the center of curvature and radius of curvature the circle which is centered at the center of curvature and having a radius rho so e distance in the varayna rho arikim. so this circle uh, is called as the circle of curvature so the circle with radius equal to uh, the radius of curvature rho and its center as the center of curvature xy is called the circle of curvature. So, uh, center and radius and thunder, we know how to write the equation of the circle. So, the equation for circle of curvature is x minus capital X whole square plus y minus capital Y whole square equal to rho square. So, rho is the radius of curvature value and capital X and y uh, that is the center of curvature. So that is the uh, definition for uh, the center of curvature and uh, circle of curvature. So let us uh, see a few problems on finding the uh, center of curvature and uh, circle of curvature. The problem is to find the coordinates of the center of curvature at a point x, y. Uh, of the parabola y square equal to 4 ax. So first we need to find the derivatives y1 and uh, y2. So let us first write the formula for center of curvature. So the center of curvature is given by so xy is equal to x minus y1 into 1 plus y1 square by y2 and y minus y plus 1 plus y1 square by y2. So we have uh, y square equal to 4ax. So let us differentiate this implicitly. So differentiate uh, with respect to x on both sides. So that will give 2y y1 equal to 
4 a so therefore y1 will be equal to 2 a by y and uh, differentiating again so that is going to give 2 y y2 plus y1 square verum equal to 0 so that implies y2 is uh, minus y1 square by y uh, so we can substitute the value of y1 square into this okay. so therefore we have d by by dx equal to 2 a by y and d square y by dx square will be minus y1 square by y so minus 1 by y into 4 a square by uh, y square verum so that is minus 4 a square by y cube so that is the value of uh, y1 and okay. so this is um, y1 and this is y so therefore capital x will be x minus y1 into 1 plus y1 square by y2 so that is equal to x minus so y1 is 2a by y into 1 plus 4a square by y square by y2 is minus 4a square by y cube so we will get x minus 2a by minus 4a square into y square plus 4a square the y cube we cancel out okay and the common denominator y square and the y cube we cancel here yeah. okay. that will be equal to x minus 2a by x plus 4a square into this will be 4ax, y square is 4ax plus 4a square. So 4a will cancel out. So that is 2a by a uh, x plus a verum. So that will be x plus uh, 2 into x plus a. So we will get 3x plus 2. So that's the capital X is 3x plus 2a. Now let us find capital Y. Capital Y is y plus 1 plus y1 square by y2. So that is equal to y plus 1 plus y1 square. y1 is 2a by y. So 4a square by uh, y square verum by y2 that is minus 4a square by y2 so we will get y plus y square plus 4a square by y square into minus y cube by 4a square so that is y plus so we will get y square now y square is 4ax so 4ax plus 4a square uh, into minus y by 4a square where we need 4 a cancel a so we will get y plus uh, x plus a into minus y by a where so that will be y minus x y by a minus y so that will be equal to minus x y by a now we can uh, substitute for uh, y so we have y square equal to 4 a x so therefore uh, y will be plus or minus root of 4 x so uh, we will get capital y equal to 
minus x by a into plus or minus root of 4ax. So, uh, minus multiply by plus or minus multiply. So, we will get minus plus uh, 2 by root a x raised to 3 by 2. So, that is the value of capital Y. So, therefore, x y will be the required value of center of curvature is 3x plus 2a and plus minus 2 x raised to 3 by 2 by root a. So, that is the value of the center of curvature. Now, let us look at another problem. So, find the center of curvature of the forecast hypocycloid so that is um, okay. that is x equal to a cos cube theta and y equal to a sin cube theta or that has the equation so this is the parametric equation of x raised to 2 by 3 plus y raised to 2 by 3 equal to a raised to 2 by 3 so this is actually the equation of four cups uh, hypocycloid and this is the parametric representation now we will find the center of curvature using the uh, parametric representation so that will uh, give the uh, value of the center of curvature much okay so uh, we need to find first of all y1 and y2 so y1 will be uh, dy by d theta by dx by d theta so let us first find dx by d theta so that will be uh, a into 3 cos square theta into minus sin theta so we will get minus 3a cos square theta sin theta and dy by d theta will be 3a sin square theta into cos theta so therefore y1 will be dy by d theta by dx by d theta so when we take the ratio uh, we will get uh, minus sin theta cos theta. So, that will be the uh, minus sin theta by cos theta. Okay. So, that will be minus tan theta. Now, let us find the value of y2. y2 is uh, d by dx of dy by dx. So, that will be d by d theta of dy by dx into d theta by dx by chain rule. Now d by d theta of minus tan theta is minus x square theta. So we will get minus x square theta into 1 by minus 3a cos square theta sin theta varam. So we will get so that will be equal to 1 by 3a so c raised to 4 theta cosec theta will come so that is y2 now let us uh, write down the value of xy so xy will be x minus y1 into 1 plus y1 square by y2 and y plus 1 plus y1 square by y2 now let us uh, substitute uh, the values so small x is a cos cube theta so a cos cube theta minus y1 is okay, tan theta varam plus tan theta 1 plus tan square theta will be c square theta by y2 is 1 by 3a c raised to 4 theta uh, cos theta varam um, so upon simplifying we will get a 
cause 